and everything just felt really light. I was really pumped up. Um, so yeah, very, very happy and a, like a confidence boost going into the final. <laughs> Like a, would you like a pina colada, Mr. Hall? Oh, hey. Good to see you, man. How you doing? You okay? Yeah, yeah. Can strongmen swim? Like, do you guys just sink? I bet I, you I can swim. Actually, really, really, would you actually race? Let's go. I'm actually a horrible swimmer. Right, baby. Oh, God. I need a head start. Okay. <laughs> I got a head start? Yeah. As soon as you go, I'll go. Okay. <laughs> He's going to go after me. He's giving me a head start. Someone count me down. Three to one, go. <laughs> wow! Holy! Really warm. <laughs> Damn, bro. You guys are crazy. You want to... Uh, Should I go last? Or first? Do you want to go in with Tom? I'll go in with Tom. We're two-time world's strongest man. Who can't get his shirt off. He's so big. Tom stole me, baby! Hey! Hey, buddy, that's you! <laughs> that's the best day of my life. Man. <laughs> you don't got a Speedo? No. Ah. These are better speedos. What are they? I think I had these when I was like 12. I've got them now. They're yours. They're mine, yeah. They're my hand-me-downs. Okay, Tom, you get in there first. Is it good? Should I get in? Yes, please. Should I face you? Yes. Yes, sir. Go, want to go inside yes, of me? Oh! Oh! I've got you, brother. Oh! Oh! oh. All right. Hey, man. <laughs> 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 Woo! I'm literally between his legs. Oh my god. Tommy boy. Oh, he's holding me. He's holding me. He's keeping me warm. <laughs> oh, it made it so much worse. That's nice. Right. It does feel good. You're gonna do a few minutes? Okay. So, what is it like being two time world strongest man? Very nice. It is nice. Nice. How do you feel going into this competition compared to the other two years? Yeah, I feel good mentally, I feel good physically, I feel good. Qualifiers were alright, so this is where the fun begins and all right. I'm physically and mentally ready. Who do you think's like uh you're like if you're looking like oh I gotta be I gotta watch out for that guy. Do you have any eyes? Luke. Luke! No, I don't care <laughs> about <what you're laughs> Focus on yourself. So if you start focusing on other people, that's a weakness already. Okay. So that you're always always worried just by yourself, your own yeah. game and stuff. Me versus me. Hell yeah. What's your best piece of advice for anybody that wants to get into strong man or any sort of competing in fitness? Do not do it. <laughs> no? <laughs> Why not? Because it's silly. Oh, okay. No, I, uh, do silly. it. I mean, get to a gym, buy some at the stones, buy some logs and have some fun. It's a great fun sport. I mean, you tried it up yep. in the Highlands. You like it? Yeah. You enjoy it different than the gym, so. Yeah. Yeah, just go in and have some fun. and. Lift some crazy things. And go in some cold water with some giant guys. Yeah, yeah. What else is new? You can have the loop stoltman in with you now. Sure, get him in here. I change. I just peed. Get in here. Just put my speed on your face. Yeah. Oh man, no. No, no, no. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. You like you love the cold. Yes. You take cold tubs every single day. Um, cold tubs are like what we did the swims in the yeah. sea. Yeah. But really you're nice. doing cold exposure every day. I try to, yeah. Um, yeah, the, the, the kind of sunrise and the swims is nice, man. That's yeah, that's man. what I get. I, I get a lot of And then Tom and I usually come in. We have one of these in our gym as well. So after we train, do the sauna, and then in here as well. So. Hell yeah. What about you? Uh, I, I actually just got a cold plunge, so I've been doing it every single day, oh, nice. at least three minutes. Wow. I go in, and it's way, it's like this where the water's flowing, so it's way harder. Yeah. Because the water moves. But you're sitting, actually. I'm right on the jet. Yes. It, it really hurts. Like, I'm right on the jet. <laughs> so let me ask you this. How did you feel with your training going into this competition? Yeah, really confident. Um, we did a competition at Arnold's a few weeks ago, so we weren't in probably peak performance then so we kind of rectified a couple of things, changed training, 
love more condition because your world's strongest man it's over such a long period of time so you need to be really conditioned so both Tom and I really kind of hit it hard hit the conditioning hard and yeah it's just buzzing it's, uh, hell yeah, yeah are you excited to be in the finalists? yeah so excited man you yeah, saw bro. the like my celebration yeah. yesterday that was uh, insane yeah, I was pumped. I was is this your first time as a finalist? It's my fourth, actually. Fourth? Okay, yeah, hell so yeah, four man. Times, yeah, so hell yeah. It's, uh, it's been nice. It's I want to see that dog, baby. Yeah. I, wanna, I, I gotta see it. Yeah. Everyone's rooting for you. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's good fun. You know, it's, and it's it was a sh it, not a shame, but the guy I was up against, a guy, Gavin Bolton, so he's from Wales. Um, really nice guy. Yeah, we'll have to interview some things. He's such a nice guy. So, have that British kind of aspect of it, you know, it was like two British guys against yeah. each other, so like, I kind of felt bad that I went through, because I had to beat him, but still really happy at the same time. You gotta do yeah, it, man. you gotta beat everyone, yeah. so, and nice to be on with Big Tommy as well, you know, it's yeah. first set of brothers, we did that in 2019, we made the final together, and we've done it another three times since, hopefully Big Tom will get his third title, and uh, How proud are you of Tom? It's like, I got a tattoo of him in my arm, you know, the, the first time he won World's Strongest Man, I got that tattoo in my arm of him, and he's uh, not just a strong man, but as a person as well, you know, the person he's become, because of because of him being able to train in the gym, it's really changed his life, as you know as well, you know yep. what the gym does, mentally, physically, it just makes you so much more confident, and yeah, super proud of what he's done, oh, yeah, it's awesome. Hell yeah. Really yeah. special. And then also doesn't Tom Tom he has autism. Yeah. And he also is just bring awareness for that of, of what you are capable of. Yeah. Do you yeah. want to dive into that at all? Yeah, yeah. So Tom um yeah, he was born or diagnosed with autism when he was a little bit younger in his childhood. Um, so childhood autism, he still has it now, obviously. Um, but you know, he calls it a superpower. You know, yep. he kinda of pays testament to having autism, that's why he's the strongest man in the world because he has yeah. That like super concrete thinking, um, and because of Tom, you know, millions of people with autism look up to Tom as their kind of their hero. You know, That's awesome, man. Tom Tom's a real life Superman. You know, you know he's Hell like yeah. the the best guy in the world. Right on, man. Yeah, man, just just look at him now. He's just, just we love you, Tom. Thank you. <laughs> I love my dad, bro. Yeah. Okay, I'm literally dying on the inside. Oh, here I'm gonna get you back. Oh, excuse me. Pardon me. Let's go, Tommy boy. Let's go. We're going for three this year. We're going for three. Yes, we are. Um, how did yesterday go for you? That was good. Um, <clears throat> stone off a big gav. Um, yeah, it was really good. So happy to get through to the final for the fourth time. Myself and big Tommy managed to get through, so... Um, Tommy had a bit more of a more comfortable stone run, should I say. Um, but yeah, it was a good battle with Gav. Um, really happy with how things went. So, yeah, onwards and upwards. Your uh, stone you're looking back this year, is it something you've been focused on the training? Um, yeah, it's almost something to be focused on, but it's more just the confidence thing. I think I, I, I knew like the 200 stone wasn't going to be an issue, so I knew I could rep it, I was feeling really strong, every pick up, you know when you pick, you know as when you do the pick up initially, that kind of tells you how the, the tacky was responding, the tacky was responding really well, um, and everything just felt really light, I was really pumped up, um, so yeah, very, very happy and a, like a confidence boost going into the final, and I think the, um, yeah, I can get the stones done in, in a lot better time this year, um, and you know, hopefully kind of push, get some good points kind of in the final event. So, which will be really nice. Having to do three three reps, how's your body feeling today? Really good. Um, yeah, it doesn't. <clears throat> I think that's been a, a good one because with the training, you know, we've trained really hard, we've trained on a Wednesday, um, so the thought process behind that was train on a Wednesday, that'll be the final day of the heats, have a day off, day off on Thursday, and then we hit events on the Friday again, so it's just been like training, um, obviously a lot more at stake, but 
the 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 kind of thinking behind it for me was that was always the case, you know. So rather than just have one big event day on a Friday, you know, we do seven events on a Friday, we're splitting it up, so it feels more comp um, specific rather than just a a training day. So yeah, body's feeling good. I'm just gonna finish off this and then go and get some physio, do some more hot and cold. Um, you just want that adrenaline to go as much as you can, keep that adrenaline or get that adrenaline back up for tomorrow. Um, so yeah, feeling absolutely really good, so um, can't complain. In the comparison to previous years, getting to the finals now, phys physically, how, how do you feel? <clears throat> I think I feel better than I did last year. Um, I was just thinking about the events in the final. And <clears throat> the events in the final are, I think, really good for me. So, you know, when there's good events in the final and you're not over, not I'm not concerned about them. But you know, to, for me, the the pressure was to make the final. So, you know, I was feeling pressure coming into this and. Um, you know, knew I was capable, didn't, didn't really have any doubts, but there's always that um, pressure that you feel and, um, going into the final. They were, they were better events. For, I just feel more comfortable with them, and I know I can take some points off, you know, like of Alexi and the other guys in certain events. So, um, yeah, physically, I think that's why I'm feeling a lot better because I'm a lot more confident going into it. So, um, yeah, I just can't wait to get started. Kind of blitz through the fingers, fingers. We have shield carry tomorrow and deadlifts, I think. So, um, yeah, excited to get that done. And then, yeah, just just feel, feeling really good, really good. Yeah, just have the uh, familiarisation. Mm. Um, <coughs> yeah, familiarisation was fine. Nothing too. <laughs> Too crazy, you know. We've we've done our, I've done all the events in the, the final before. The shields the same as the Giants Live Shield. The fingers we did a couple of years ago. Deadlift we did a couple of years ago. Um, dumbbells a dumbbell press. Uh, truck pulls truck pull and stones a stone. So um, I just wanted. I, I mean, it's mandatory anyway. So we went down just to see if there was any kind of changes. Um, yeah, so I, I didn't spend an awful lot of time down there. Um, so yeah, no, it was fine. Everything looked okay. Um, and just kind of, if people want to, you know, try out loads of things, and that, that's up to them. That's up to them. But for me, I, I don't, I, I don't tend to do to do that too much because for me, it always feels heavier in training and familiarisation. So. Um, yeah, just stayed down there for a little bit and then came back to the hotel to chill. Did uh, the Tom go down? Mm-hmm. How, how did the Tom feel like at all? Uh, Tom's the same, yeah, it's like very relaxed. Um, you know, people were... You know, there was a, a lot of chat about the shield carry, how to start this, and... You know, when you get a lot of guys in, doing the shield carry, they, they wait for the other person to go. Um, which isn't really good sportsmanship, you know, you, people, you blow the whistle, you pick up, then you start going. So that was the only point I think I raised about that, just um, because it's heading the rules, if you did that you get disqualified. <clears throat> so basically we're starting, I think, side on, and then we're going to pick it up, turn, and then go. Um, and, you know, if there's any kind of you know, waiting for the other athlete to go, you, you'll get disqualified, basically. Head-to-head? So Head-to-head head yeah. in the shield, yeah, so... But again, you know, you just go as far as you can in that one. Um, yeah, Tom was pretty chilled. Um, he's a world record holder in the shield carry. Um, so, and he could have gone for more, I think, you know, he did it at Giants Live a couple of years ago. So, <clears throat> yeah, he was fine. Um, and again, I think he was in the same mindset as me. We've been there before. We've we've tried it all. So 
this is a rest day, you know, so this is what we're using it as, is a rest and recovery day and then um, tomorrow morning, you know, switch on and just, just get into it again. Do you think um, some people get overstressed on on the rest day, like <coughs> going through finalisation, like picking up all the stuff, sort of, you know, to <coughs> Um, I, I don't know. I mean, if it works for them, it works for them. So, um, I just know it works for me, and that's all I need to worry about. So, if the other guys want to, you know, have a a session, effectively, you know, picking up all the bits and pieces, and um, then you know, like Alexi, you know, he'll always try and do a little bit, and and that's that works very well for him, I think. So, um, <coughs> I don't think it's. It's not my place to say if they did it or they're right or not. It's, I think for them, it's whatever they they do is right, and whatever I do is right for me. I think. All right, last one. What's the plan for us now? Um, so I'm gonna go down and see the recovery team here. We have uh, Doctor Todd, we have Michael and Becky, who um, they're three of the recovery team here that they've got a world so. <clears throat> they're all really good in their own ways, so see Dr. Todd first, then Michael, and then Becky then, just just to get kind of reset, um, do some more hot and cold later on. Try not to do too much else, um, eat some more food in a little bit, and then early to bed tonight. Um, trying to like, switch off for 10 o'clock, that's my kind of cut off time. <clears throat> um, gives us kind of good kind of six, seven hours. Um, which I kind of work okay on, and that'll be up, mate. Just uh, yeah, get some good sleep, and then ready to go again tomorrow. It should be good. Okay, guys. Well, thank you for watching the video. As always, as you can see, we're just on a rest and recovery day. Quite relaxed, quite chilled. Big Tommy's just napping at the moment, so um, he's just switching off from the kind of the media stuff. I think he's had to do a few interviews and stuff. Been the the champ, uh, he's got a little bit more media attention on him I guess, so uh, I hope you enjoyed my little chat, really excited for tomorrow, as always thank you so much for all the support, it means the world to both Tom, myself and the rest of our team out here, it's been an awesome run so far, but we're only just getting started now, so stay tuned for the rest of World Strongest Man 2023, thank you so much for watching, as always please smile, stay safe and stay spicy, and please don't forget to ring that little bell. Guys, so today I'm going to walk you through the log press. Hey guys, this is week one of the Atlas Stone tutorial by Tom Stoneman. Right guys, today's tutorial is 